So we're going to work on Oslo and we're going to work on the last requirement about using degree of operating leverage. First we have to calculate it and then we have to use it. And so what it says here is to flip the variable and fixed from the original scenario. So the original scenario variable was 31 fives. So we're now going to make that fixed. And the variable expenses are what the fix used to be. So the total expenses are the same, just what was variables now fixed and what was fixed is now variable. Sales is the same as what it was. So now we have to calculate our new contribution margin, sales minus variable cost, and our new net operating income, which is contribution margin minus fixed cost. So total net operating income is the same, but the proportion of fixed and variable has been altered. And that's just based on the instructions they gave us. Degree of operating leverage, leverage is contribution margin over net operating income. So we'll take our contribution margin and divide it by our net operating income. And that is expressed as a decimal. They tell you to round to two decimal places. So we will do that in Excel because Excel doesn't naturally round. All right. Now we're going to use it. So the way it works is the degree of operating leverage is multiplied times the percent change in sales, and that will tell you the percent change of operating income. So the percent change in sales. So the percent change in net operating income would be your operating leverage times how much sales changed. So that's a pretty impressive shift and that's because when sales went up, fixed cost did not. So let me know if you have questions.